Newbies, the most frustrating thing when you get a brand new ELRS drone is to have to power cycle it three times in order to bind it. Sometimes that bind gets lost. So I'm going to show you now in as easy a way as possible how to create a binding phrase on both your brand new drone and your radio. We're going to do it initially on the Jumper T15, but we'll also do it on the Radio Master Boxer as well. First things first, we're going to set the radio to one side, like that, and we're going to concentrate on how to do it with the drone. So first things first, we need to get our USB cable. So the first thing you need to do is get your USB cable. Now this is a USB uh, micro. So you just need to make sure you plug it into the right way on the flight controller. It needs to be plugged into the flight controller and not into the USB-C on the 04, if you've got an 04 model. Now, as we can see underneath here, we've got a flashing LED light. We need this receiver now to go into bind mode. And in order for it to go into bind mode, we need to wait 60 seconds. And this will then start to flash rapidly. Okay, so as you can see now, that red LED is flashing really, really rapidly. So we're now in Wi-Fi mode. So we can set the quad down, leave it plugged in, and we're gonna go over to the PC. So what you need to do first of all, is go over to your Wi-Fi settings. Check, and you'll see you've got a new network available to you called ELRS. Press connect and connect automatically. The password is all in lowercase, and it's express. LRS and then hit enter. That will then connect you to the receiver. And straight away, look, the web page automatically pops up. And to add your binding phrase, all you need to do is type it in here. Bear in mind one thing is really important this is um, case sensitive, was the word I was looking for. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my binding phrase and I'm going to keep it topical. So, we'll put it as I am the best pilot. No, no. So we'll put it as capital S and then a capital Q. So that's now my bind phrase. So if I then pop that back down and if I click save and reboot. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to how to do the same thing on your jumper T15. So power it on and you need to go to your Lua script. So you press the system button and then you press ELRS. And then if we just wait for all that to load up and we scroll down to Wi-Fi connectivity. And then if we enable Wi-Fi and we do exactly the same as we did before on the PC now. So I'll just move that out of the way and we'll zoom in to the PC. And we can see we should then have Express LRS TX, which means transmitter which means the controller and again the password is going to be exactly the same so express lrs and then hit next and again we should get the same pop-up box now we may need to move this a little bit closer to the pc the pc doesn't have great wi-fi it's just a little box pc so i'm just going to move that over there for a second and just see if that helps now it's right next to the, there we go. So it does need a fairly strong signal. So again, we're gonna add the binding phrase. The, what you can see on here is exactly the same as you could see before. Nothing looks any different, except we're now dealing with the TX, so. And we've saved that in exactly the same way. And it changes this little hash down here, I've noticed. I've not really paid attention to this before. Generally speaking, I've been quite lazy and I've just done it the uh, the three power cycle way. But obviously that's not the right way. And now that I am gaining a little bit of traction on YouTube, I, I better show you guys the right way of doing it. So it says the binding UID has been generated and the bind phrase previously entered into bind phrase field. Right, okay. So we've now got, so that means we've got a bind phrase. You can also, Again, update, change all your settings here. But again, we'll save that for another video. So let's check and see if it's worked. 
Okay, so the next step now is to turn on the Jumper T15 first of all. With the lovely Squadding Quads logo. And the widgets, we'll make a video of the widgets real soon as well. Brand new quad. We haven't power cycled it three times. Forget all the previous videos you've ever seen. This was done before. We tested it, something like that. Um, <laughs> plug it in and listen. So before this has even rebooted the flight controller, it's already connected. And just to test it, let's move the camera down very slightly. And there we go. You'll also notice that I fixed the issues with the stuttering motors on the Mobula 7. So now I'm going to show you how to do exactly the same thing, but on a boxer from Radio Master. Now, excuse the fact I've still got this covered. I'm going to completely renovate this radio into something that uh, is a genuine, complete one-off very soon. Um, but until then, I'm going to show you how to add a bind phrase to it. So you press system, brings up your, your tools, your scripts, and then you press ELRS. Again, you scroll down and you do exactly the same thing. You go to Wi-Fi connectivity and then you enable Wi-Fi. And I'm just going to move it over to the PC. I'll close all this down and then we'll just move up here. And we should have Express LRS connect. It may need a password. It may not. No, there we go. So it's instantly opened it up because we've already had a TX. And then we just need to add the bind phrase. So, again, same as before, capital S, capital Q. And if you ever forget your bind phrase, you don't need to remember your old one to change it. So if you ever forget it, just come in here and add a bind phrase and it will automatically overwrite the old one. Upload successful, reboot. So what we'll do, give that a second until it comes back online. I may need to reboot it manually. Oh no, there we go. So it's rebooted the Wi-Fi. So I'm just pressing enable Wi-Fi again, exactly how I did before. And it should now pop up any second. There we go. Connect. And instantly it reopens the web page. Scroll down and we can see it says overridden, which means that we've had a bind phrase added. It doesn't say overridden on your receivers, so just make sure when you type it in the bind phrase here, you can see that it's making those changes. But we've now added a bind phrase to both our jumper and our radio master. So I can't hold the jumper up a second, so let me plug that in and then hold it up. and instantly we connected. I don't know if the switches are set up in the correct manner for this, but if they are, we'll try. Right. Oh, they are, fantastic. So again, look how easy that was to do. It's a process that takes a couple of seconds. Try and get into the habit of doing that every time you get a brand new drone. It will make your life so much easier. It makes your connection better as well. Um, because ultimately, sometimes if you haven't got a bind phrase, you may have to rebind. I have to do it quite often, but I'm gonna get into the habit of doing this now with you guys because obviously, you know, this is the right way of doing it and it will make your life way easier. Okay, and just for one added one, we'll do it with the Flywoo Flyby 16 as well. Now, can we see where the receiver flashing light is in here? I don't know if it's that one. Oh, it's on the board there, look. So I don't know if we can see that. Let's, let's see if we can just, there we go. So I'm going to hold this here for a minute and just see if uh, we can see it flashing really fast and going in to Wi-Fi mode. So just give it a few seconds. I'll probably speed this up or cut it. There we go. We can see it's actually the green one at the bottom there. Look, can, I, can we see that there? We should hopefully be able to see that. A bit. It's, on the, it's on the bottom board. Oh, there it is, look, on that bottom board. There it is, there it is. Okay, so let's put it on the PC. Okay, so that's automatically connected and brought this up and we can see from the UID that there is no bind phrase there. So as we type in our bind phrase, you can see that it's actually changing it. 
hit save and reboot. Upload has succeeded, hit reboot, and you're good to go. So as you all know, I did the test and the review of the Flywoo Fly V16 with the jumper, with the jumper T15. So we're gonna plug it in to the boxer just to show you that this bind phrase has worked and how easy it is to do. So as I plug this in now, As easy as that. And this has never been connected to this. Now we've we've got it set to the same switches, so it should arm. arm as well. How easy was that? Never arm a drone with the props on. I've taught you really bad lessons there. Please don't ever copy what I do. Apart from the bind phrase, copy that. Otherwise you won't be able to bind it with a bind Telemetry phrase. Lost. Peace out. Now, if you want to get involved in a quick community spotlight, leave a comment down below for the person above your comment about what you think their bind phrase should be. So don't leave your bind phrase, but leave a comment for the person above you and, and try and make it as jokey and as funny as you can of what the, or, or as clever as you can for what you think that person's bind phrase should be. And on the next tutorial video, I'll do a community spotlight on that and I'll highlight the best three comments, either the funniest or the cleverest. I hope this video has helped you. Please do drop a like and a comment down below and let me know. Peace out.